you remember the big eight Matt over here the blue shirt especially with one of the uh, Williams bet those jigs Imran over here he's got a pink one and I'm using that white uh, he's got white hammer jig I forgot to turn my camera on at the last rig but we were counting down to about uh, 50 and then reeling them in and uh, all of us got bites I actually lost a jig because of a bad knot but uh, Matt got his first two down and Imran Imran got tangled he almost got a tuna this is drift number two. We're pulling up to the rig. And uh, you can see there's a few sport, sport fishers out here. But uh, we're going to get up here and try to get on some tuna. Hold on, I'll be right there. Wait, 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 wait. jumping out there no it's a flying fish dropping he hit it on the way down I was probably around 40 feet <clears throat> one so far I've lost one watch your line watch your line <sighs> you got him all right there's your chunk Whew. for bait catch a bigger fish you don't always have to reel it up and down you can leave it at that depth and just jig it up and down a little bit that's what deal does he hardly even he just drops his rod just raises it up and down Chunk out there. Yeah. Remember? <laughs> hey, technically, I put the chunk. Yeah. yeah. But I just work. It's all good, man. Yeah. Dude, it's not even turning. I had a good feeling about this. That's a good fish. Yeah. I can't turn him. He's not. Pump the reel. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, I know I like the clicker. I hate that noise. Hey, this My one. chunk line. 
This rod next to me, you can put a chunk line on that too if you want. If you want to run more than one. Anyone that needs one, I'll put it on. I can't tell where we're at here. Here, let him come down to this corner. Imran, watch out. Can you go over or under? Right now, it's just staying straight out there. And now it's leaving. Oh yeah. He did not like to see the boat. Is that the new pin? Yeah. Oh yeah, that'll work. He just ripped out about all the line I took. He hit hard, he hit real hard. <laughs> you wanna rock? There's some chunks right there. I was just thinking about going to Hoover too, so a little bit. You wanna tug it, Charles? You wanna fight it? Get a handoff. Yeah, if you want to. Just jump in there and grab it. Grab the rod. Can you feel anybody rubbing on it? No. Just straight up and down. Hey Eric, go ahead and go over this one if you can, or at least get make sure we're not crossed. Okay. Uh, I think we're okay. Are we okay? Oh uh, yeah, I didn't get off the other side of it. Ah, ah, it's hard to do. Alright, I'll go underneath, Jerry. Right? Yeah, that's a big one. Ah, anyway, I want to fight it. Just uh, keep in mind, the propeller is not on the right side. Let me get on the right side. Uh, yeah, he's coming up eight times soon. Ugh, I'm putting all my acid to it, too. Anybody want to switch? You need a break? Yeah. Switch? Yeah, here. Grab it. Oh, there you Grab go. it. Turn yep. it. Whew. It ain't giving you much ground. Easy, easy. Don't do a lot of jerking. Switch. He's going to run. Let him run. Oh, yeah. Fine, dude. You would have grabbed my bag. How the fuck you put this on? A quick one end of it. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. It was already set, never mind. I'll get you set up. Careful with your tap out? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, we switched it off. This fish is a budget, man. Alright, I'll teach you around. Switch it. What you need? Yeah. Just run it and then pass it over again. I'll take it whenever you're ready. We'll just work it. Double team it. Yeah, it was set. Like these, you just like flip it. Okay. It keeps it set. Yeah, sorry. You okay or you need it tight? I'm fine. It's just a spot. Yeah. yeah, don't worry about it. I'm going to lose all the fish. It's old boat ride, dude. Okay. That's what catches all the fish. What's that? bigger than that man. If it's a tuna it's bigger than that I think. This is dumb this fool like twice. It's coming. You got yeah, putting it on him. It on it. Putting it on him. You wait for underneath the boat. Yeah, it's a boat rod, so it's got a lot of back boat or give to it. Yeah, we probably hooked up at that sport fisher over there. Yeah, that's a nice black. It'll be a good black, man. It's a world record. Big ass. Yeah, state record. For sure. Let's make it a yellow fish state record. If you want to switch, just let me know. You see color? Yeah. Here. See color? What, what, whatever you do, 
here, if that line starts running to the boat, you gotta get that rod tip out as far as you can. Yeah. Do you want me to go around the corner? Or? You, you gotta get that rod under your armpit. That way you can, that way you can maneuver and get that rod away from the boat. Because our rudders and our propellers are sticking out. Uh, yeah, they're they're close to the back of the boat on this one. Do you want to go this way with it? Let me know if you want me to take a, take a turn. Let him not. Keep fighting. You're doing good. Alright, let him get you in the corner. That way we can see the line. There we go. Fight one? Come on. I've caught plenty, man. You want to fight it? Come on. Let's see what it feels like. Which Come on. Is yeah. I can't tell what it is. Eh? Take it. Fight it. Oh, yeah, it might have got it off. Hold on. Yeah, that might be. You want to fight Damn, I had one. It got off. That vibration on the tip is like probably a big black one. Make sure he's not off. You gonna fight him? He's still there. Turn, 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 turn the reel. There you go. Keep going. Just keep reeling. If you need to raise your rod up a little bit, you can. And just reel down on it. Oh. It's way out there. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, the sucker's way out there, man. See him? 
He's up on top. Yeah, he's running way up there. Uh, no, Jig. I was trying to catch some more bait for Chunk. Oh, it might be on this line. I don't know, you either have a yellow print or the dog will grab your black print. Oh, I don't know what I got, man. Just got a bunch of lines around me. It's not it's not shaking the head like a black fin too much, but here man. It's not fighting like a black fin, but Come on, come on, man, fight it. <laughs> it's not a black man. I mean, look at <sighs> this is another one of those rods, man. This is a bluefin tuna rod. Oh, okay. Well, it's probably, probably not a black man. Then. I don't think so. You know, anybody want to take it for a bit? Need a break? Yeah, I need a break. Eh? Oh, we got Keller. Oh. Right there, you got it. That might be why he's not shaking his head. Three, four hundred yards deep. But he's not running out drag either, which is weird. Because he always used to take drag. It's got some size to it. <sighs> Just fighting weird. <sighs> Black pin 15 choke lines. Bento's jig. Y'all remember this was one of the top eight tuna lures. You catch a black fin with it. I don't catch yellow fin that often with it, but I do sometimes. All right, so we caught a bunch of yellows here at this stop. A uh, few, few yellows, few black fin. But Matt wants to get us on some more fish, so we're gonna head over to Nance and see if we can get on some different fish. So this is our third stop. This is uh, Nansen, so you can still see boom bang off in distance. And we drove out here and came to Nansen, stop by a drill ship on the way, and uh, see if we can catch some tuna. What you got? You got a dolphin? Wow. Smaller jig. Yeah, or that means they're down here. We just gotta get jigs in their face. How deep are you guys going? Go down to 75. So yours is called a flat fall. It's a weird, a little bit of a weird kind of jig. Alright, so with this one, basically it falls on its own. So do the same thing, let it drop. Let it go through all these purples. See all these purple lines? Like right, there goes one. Hey, deckhands. 
little baby yellow. That baby yellow. So you go through all the purples and you'll see an orange. The orange is 100 yards, it's just 30 feet. I think once you get to the orange, you can probably stop. Like that. Then you can start to reel up. And all you gotta do with this, look, raise it up, let it sink down. Raise it up, let it sink down. Go all the way down, point your rod at the thing, go all the way up over your head. That's all you gotta do. It's not a super really difficult technique, but you'll get it. There you go, reel, reel, reel. Jerk back on it first, set the hook, and then reel. There you go. Turn it real. Lead back, raise your arm up, reel down. A little bit at a time. You're good. Once you do that, once you start moving them, just keep moving them. Fun, huh? That's <laughs> like fight for Okay. Hey, where's that cast at, man? Don't miss this time. So drift away. Now he's on it. Yeah, he's jerking it. You don't have to jerk it, just keep reeling. It's a choice to catch a fish deep. If you need help, pass it over to Imran. You wanna reel? You wanna reel his fish a little bit? He's tired. Yeah, go for it. Took off, man. It was literally right here. It was a monster. And then it went back towards the back of the boat. Come on. There's your fish.
go. Maybe you hit him. He heard it was really fun. What a great guy. What a volunteer. Yeah, I was looking back. I saw a fire jump in the water. All of a sudden, I saw a flash. I heard something thunk over here. Like, he jumped in the water. Yeah, he was right there. He jumped straight up, curved around, made it right in front of me. All right, so this morning, Sunday morning, we're getting ready to uh, wrap up through the fishing. Caught a few tuna, not a huge, huge, super successful day. But we caught plenty of nice tuna. We got a lot of the sunrise this morning. <clears throat> I'm dropping a chunk. There's only a couple of those fish at this point. I think a few people called it a day already. But Mitch and I are still out here fishing. That kids are still working on distributing fish and putting them on ice. So a lot going on still. Alright. So this is the results of the trip. You can see we had a double limit of red snapper. Caught a whole bunch of uh got a whole bunch of tuna, black fin. And then over here you see the over here you see the uh yellow fin that we caught. Behind the yellow fin we got a bunch of kings. And then after the kings, you see we got some mangrove snapper, barrel fish mahi mahi and tile fish so that's basically the extent of the trip and one vermilion what an awesome trip <laughs> <laughs>